There we determined that it was more than likely a gunshot wound. Only on to a string of attacks on our symbol of freedom. Wildlife agents across the state investigating bald eagle poaching. Just last week, an eagle was found injured in a Delaware County field. But as Two Works For You reporter Travis Guillory shows us, it isn't the only attack on our national bird this year. To bring their binoculars with them so they can get a glimpse at these rare birds in some of the trees. Fish and game officials say they're devastated to see that somebody decided to use these protected animals as target practice. Idaho Fish and Game says two bald eagles were found dead late last week along the shore of Brownlee Reservoir near Steck Park. Now that's west of Weezer in a relatively remote area. Veterinarians say the gunshots were from a high powered rifle. An American bald eagle is shot and killed. Tonight, Florida Fish and Wildlife is asking for help in finding the shooter. A Green Cove Springs homeowner spotted that bald eagle with a gunshot wound to its back. It was rushed to a local bird rescue where it later died. They're a national symbol, so, you know, why would you want to shoot the thing? That's a question Florida Fish and Wildlife is trying to find answers to after this American bald eagle was found shot in the back and later died. Kansas game wardens asking for help after a bald eagle was found shot dead. The bald eagle shot and killed sometime yesterday near Marion Reservoir. We can collect a lot of evidence from the animal itself, but without good information from the public, sometimes there's just not a lot we can do.